I started to notice a pretty significant uptick in crime in the area. Um, it's always sort of been a rough area. I mean, statistically, it's the poorest section of the poorest neighborhood in the entire city of Philadelphia. But there was just such an intensity of, of drama that was happening that um, I was trying to figure out, like, kind of why was, it, why was it always happening here and not so much in other places? So I kind of put my documentary nerd research hat on and found out uh, a number of really important things. The one that's kind of my broken record is that home ownership directly correlates to crime stats. The higher the rate of home ownership, the lower the rate of crime. And we have a disproportionately low rate of home ownership in the area and a really high rate of abandoned properties and rental properties that are owned by slumlord style characters. Folks that'll buy something, minimally rehab it, rent it into the ground, and then leave it abandoned for folks like me to have to go and deal with. I'd really like to, to do this sort of thing in a way where we can take long-term renters and turn them into homeowners. So that way, as, as the tide of gentrification moves north, as it's going to anyway, if we can, you know, like as a tide, um, all boats rise together, right? So if we can get long-term renters into home ownership, folks can later on benefit in the rise of those property values, while in the, in the current, we're, de we're decreasing um, crime through, through home ownership and that sort of thing.